Hello and welcome to the webinar series on the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Unified Operations application. And today we're going to go over the Project Time Entry workspace. My name is Rob Fitzpatrick. I'm a senior AXD 365 solution architect with Western Computer. And what I'll show you today is how to enter time into that mobile app and how that time then gets back into D365. So for today's webinar, I'm going to show you how to publish the workspace for the Project Time Entry app. And then we'll show you how to enter the time, and I'll go through a quick demo of the app. So first things first, you have to make sure you publish the mobile workspace for project time entry. So when you log into Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, click on the Settings and the Mobile App option that you'll have there. And then you'll scroll down. So you'll see Project Time Entry as an option, and you'll hit that Publish button. And once the system says it's been published, you'll be able to then use it through your mobile device. So when you're entering time through the mobile app, once you head out to your mobile device, you'll see the project time entry workspace. To enter time, you go into the time entry option. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a little actions ellipse. And when you hit that, you're going to see new entry on there. And then from there, you're going to get the time entry sheet, which you'll be able to enter your hours, your project, your category, any of the other information you might need. If you're using activities, you can also enter comments in there and you click on when you're complete. So pretty quick and easy way to enter the time into the system. So let's go take a look at how that all works. All right. So right now, there's my phone. I'm going to head into the app and I've got the project time entry workspace available. So I will some time. The calendar pops up. You can choose the day that you'd like to enter time for. I'll just enter it for today. I'm going to say I've done, let's go with eight hours. I'll select the project. So with the project, you have some ability here to search. You can search by name, project name, or customer. So search by customer, and I'll search for anything. Alpine is one of the customers we have in the system. So at this point, I've got two projects for Alpine. I'll choose the one for categories. You have the same thing. You can search through the list or you can just find and select the category. Activities, if you're using a work breakdown structure on your projects, activity will be available or it will be populated with a list of activities from the work breakdown structure. I'll choose the line property. And I'll say work. That's what I did. And then I'm done. So it'll record that I've entered the time there. So what I'll do is I'll head back into the actual application and take a look at the time as it sits on my timesheet. So let me head out to my timesheet. So it created the timesheet for me. There's the eight hours on my timesheet line for that day. And then when I click on that day, it'll show the I guess I typed it wrong. <laughs> It'll show the comment that I put in there as well. So as soon as you enter it into the mobile app, it's going to create a timesheet. And then once that timesheet exists, the system knows to add some more. So I'll quickly head back out to the app. I'll just add another line for another day. So let's go to the 24th. Add a new entry. We'll say five hours to uh, a different project here. Yeah. Let's go with you. I'm done. And then let's head back into here and check out my timesheet. There it is. All right, so now I've got 13 hours on there. So the eight plus the five I just entered, and my second timesheet line appears with the time that I entered on the 24th. So there you have it. Once you have that mobile app hooked up and the workspace published, you'll be able to enter your time in through the app and have it synced up to Dynamics. Thank you for joining today's webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the information you see on the screen. Thank you very much.